As an introvert myself, I understand the unique challenges that come with starting and running a business. While introverts often have strengths such as creativity and deep thinking, we may struggle with networking and promoting ourselves. However, there are many ways to succeed as an introverted business owner. In this video, I'll share my top five tips for running a successful business as an introvert. Let's jump straight into it with tip number one, leverage your strengths. Introverts often have strengths that can be very valuable in business. For example, introverts tend to be good listeners, detail oriented and reflective. These skills can be very useful in tasks such as market research, financial analysis, or business planning. By leveraging these strengths, you can play to your natural abilities and feel more confident in your work. In addition to these skills, introverts often have a natural ability to think deeply and analyze complex issues. This can be very useful in making strategic decisions for your business. For example, you may be able to identify new market opportunities or identify potential risks that others just might overlook. You can also use your reflective nature to help you make well-informed decisions based on careful analysis and consideration. When it comes to communication, introverts may find it easier to express themselves in writing or through online channels. This can be useful in a variety of situations from communicating with customers to collaborating with team members. By taking the time to organize your thoughts and ideas in writing, you can ensure that you're communicating clearly and effectively and you can avoid feeling overwhelmed by face-to-face -face interactions. In fact, as an introvert myself, I've acquired the vast majority of my clients through messaging, personalized cold outreach to be specific, and now I'm helping intermediate and advanced agency owners get the same results. It's not a course, it's not a coaching program, it's completely done for you. System where we'll help you book 30 calls a month. If you want to find out more about that, click in the link in the description. Tip two, build a team. While introverts may prefer to work alone, building a team can be very helpful in running a successful business. By working with others who complement your strengths and can help you fill in your weaknesses, you can create a more effective and efficient business. This can include partners, employees, or contractors who can take on tasks that you may find challenging or overwhelming. When building a team, it's important to create a culture of collaboration and communication. This can help you feel more comfortable sharing your ideas and insights with others. For example, you can set up regular team meetings or use project management tools to keep everyone on the same page. By fostering an environment where everyone feels comfortable sharing their thoughts and ideas, you can create a more productive and successful team. Another important aspect of building a team is finding people who share your values and vision for your business. This can help you create a team that is more aligned with your goals and can work together to achieve them. For example, you may want to find team members who are also introverts or share your interest in a particular industry or field. Tip three, use technology to your advantage. Technology can be a great asset for introverts in business. There are many tools and apps available that can help you communicate with customers, manage your workflow and automate tasks. By using technology, you can streamline your business processes and focus on your work while staying connected with others. One way to use technology is to communicate with customers and build your brand using social media. For example, you can use platforms like Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn to share your insights and connect with potential customers. 
by using these channels, you can build your brand and establish yourself as an expert in your field. Another way to use technology is to manage your workflow and automate tasks. For example, you can use project management software like Trello or Asanya to track tasks and deadlines. You can also use email marketing tools like instantly to communicate with your audience and automate your email campaigns. By automating routine tasks, you can free up more time to focus on the tasks that require your unique skills and insights. Tip four, find networking opportunities that work for you. While traditional networking events may not be comfortable for introverts, there are other ways to network and build relationships. For example, you can attend smaller events or join online communities where you can connect with others who share your interests. You can also focus on building relationships with people one on one, which may be more comfortable for you than large group events. One way to find networking opportunities that work for you is to attend events that are aligned with your interests or industry. This can help you meet people who share your passion and may be more likely to have common goals and values. You can also look for events that are designed for introverts or that focus on more relaxed, low pressure environments. Another way to network is to join online communities such as LinkedIn or Facebook groups, where you can connect with others in your field or industry. This can be a great way to build relationships with people and to share your expertise with others. Online communities, they can also provide a sense of belonging and support that can be especially important for introverts. When networking, it's important to focus on building relationships rather than promoting your business. This can help you build trust and credibility with others and can lead to more opportunities in the long term. It's also important to remember that networking is a two-way street and that you should be willing to help others as well as receive help. Tip five, take time for self-care. Running a business can be stressful and overwhelming, especially for introverts who find it draining to be around others for extended periods of time. It's important to prioritize self-care and make time for activities that help you recharge and feel more energized. Self-care can take many forms from exercise and meditation to spending time alone in nature or reading a book. It's important to find activities that work for you and that help you feel more centered and balanced. This can help you stay focused and productive even during busy or stressful periods. Another important aspect of self-care is setting boundaries and managing your time effectively. This can include setting aside specific times for work and for personal activities and saying no to tasks or commitments that don't align with your goals or values. By setting boundaries and managing your time effectively, you can create a more balanced and sustainable business that supports your overall well-being. So running a business as an introvert can be challenging, but it's also possible to be successful by leveraging your strengths, building a strong team, using technology to your advantage, finding networking opportunities that work for you and prioritizing self-care. By focusing on these areas, you can create a business that aligns with your values and goals and that supports your overall well-being. So being an introverted entrepreneur doesn't have to be a disadvantage. By playing to your strengths, building a strong team and prioritizing self-care, you can create a successful and sustainable business that aligns with your values and goals. While it might take some extra effort to network and promote yourself, it's important to remember that introverts have unique talents and perspectives that can be highly valuable in the business world. With these tips, I hope that you can build a successful business that allows you to thrive both personally and professionally. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Apart from that, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.